the Americano. General Wilkerson. He is here. Well, he is no longer a general. Show him in, huh? Yes, sir. Will you join me in a glass of wine? Thank you. Salute. To the success of our mission. What mission? General de Cordova tells me you have a plan. I am most anxious to know what it is. I was to discuss that with General de Cordova. Oh, he's in New Orleans attending to other matters. I am in command here. Coronel Navarro at your service. In five days, dawn of the 16th, the Virginia militia plans to march on Kentucky. And uh, Kentucky? They'll be waiting. I realize you were once considered a military genius, senor, but uh, you are still only one man. How do you intend accomplishing this? As you said, Colonel, I'm a genius. One with influence. <laughs> Governor Miles of Virginia is an old and trusted friend. It was on his recommendation President Washington promoted me to the rank of general. Oh, but now uh, you are no longer a general. No. No longer. In the morning, I plan to leave for Richmond. There, I'll convince the governor the Kentucky militia led by Daniel Boone plans to attack Virginia. You Spaniards will have your revolution, and I will have what was promised me. Boonesboro. Well, it takes two to make a revolution, senor. Kentucky will fight. And uh, Daniel Boone, how will you handle him? Boone, he'll be the trigger. It's difficult to believe. But it's equally difficult for me to say it. Boone and I are friends. But the truth is, he's land hungry. He controls Kentucky. But like most hungry men, he wants more. He wants Virginia. You say he's been planning this attack for some time. How can you be sure of that? I've been at Boonesboro, sir. Boone's militia is armed and ready to march, sir. Any day, sir, he'll attack, without warning, without mercy. He'll take your land, your homes, and make it part of his own personal empire. Kentucky. General, you're a Kentuckian. Well, that's true. And I have holdings there. But unlike Boone, I, I have no wish to see conflict between the states. Nor do any of us. We're too young a nation to survive the splitting of the Union. Boone is a friend of yours. He has been for a long time, sir. Yes, well then, couldn't you go to him, talk to him, convince him that this plan of his can only lead to disaster? Well, I could try, sir. There was a time I could talk to him. No, I'm not so sure. People do change. Yes. Are you fearful of your own safety, General? Oh, no, sir. Well, if something should happen to me... Governor, if I should not return by the first light of the 16th... Then, if need be, we'll march on Boonesboro. Yes, sir.
General. It's been a spell. How long, Dad? I don't remember exact dates, but the last time the Shawnee were just about to have you for breakfast. Then you showed up. Now, how could I have forgotten that? You know, it's a safe bet the Shawnee haven't. <laughs> Your message sounded urgent. Dad, the Spanish want Kentucky. We well, have for a long time. So far, we've managed to discourage them. This time, they've got help. Virginia. Virginia? Mm-hmm. Dad, there's going to be a war between Kentucky and Virginia. And when the smoke clears, the Spanish are just going to walk over the dead bodies from both sides and take over. Just like that. Well, they seize control of Kentucky. They have control of the Mississippi. And they can stop the spread of the settlers west. No, uh, that's you, Dad. Now, uh, I was to see that war is a reality. Virginia will fight. What'll make Kentucky fight? Your murder by the Virginians. Why? Call it ambition. Treason might be a better word for it. Discuss peace to prevent a war. But they never gave him a chance. They just opened fire. And then Dan, he fell. And then I, I... Best have that wound looked after, General. There's time for that. But there's no time for Kentucky. We best prepare for an attack. Bring in the homesteaders, barricade the walls. Come on, let's do it now. No, no, no! You hide behind these walls, and Virginia has more than half won. The only way to save Boonesboro and Kentucky is to hit the enemy before he hits you, and hit them hard. Daniel Boone died for you. Don't let his death be a waste. You owe him the survival of Kentucky. He's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, General, how do we... Well, form a militia. Any man, every man that can fire a rifle. Here, let me show you. Yeah. Now, the Virginia militia will come either by road or river. Now, you split up your force. Oh, this is the main road. Set up your line of defense here. The rest of you, take up positions at the river here. 
If the Virginians take the road, those at the river can quickly reinforce the others. If the Virginians should advance by the river, we'll hit them with the entire force there. You give them everything you've got. Save Kentucky at all costs. You'll need leadership. I offer you mine. No, no, you've done enough already, General. Uh, Kentucky's not your responsibility, it's ours. That's right. right. You rest. Now, you heard what the general said. Come on, let's get moving. Oh, I can't bring the gun pop. Daniel's wife. I'll tell Rebecca. Kentucky will engage Virginia here, at the main road. Now you tell the Colonel to employ his troops here and here. Now after Kentucky and Virginia have their war, he can cut the survivors down to the crossfire. And Kentucky will be his. Correction, ours. Now you tell the Colonel he has my word. Be sure that your word is good, senor. You doubt my word, Lieutenant? All right. bad, Boone. It was a valiant effort. Well, you have me, but you've lost the battle. Not yet. We're going to stop that war. Eavesdropping. What some people won't stoop to in times of emergency. Take off that shot pouch. And while you're at it, toss me your canteen. Take off your belt. Or you're going to tie my hands. Shut up and do as I say. As you wish, Daniel. A lesson in military strategy. Never let the enemy slow you down. Shoot him first. I would if our positions were reversed. You already have. Now turn around, get down on your knees, and hold your hands up. You haven't a chance, Daniel. 
Colonel Navarro was camped just over those hills. The only chance you have is on your own. I can stop Kentucky, but I need you to stop Virginia. Now get out on your knees. I see. Show that the bait is false and the fish won't bite. You have intelligence, Daniel, and courage. But I think I can match them. Should be an interesting contest. However, if there's one thing I learned being a soldier, it pays to be in the superior position. I'm bound, but you're wounded. You're being pursued by an army. I'm not. You have two days. I'm in no hurry. My plan is near completion. <laughs> Yours is just beginning. You know, winning a contest is what makes it worthwhile. You're gonna lose this one. <laughs> First. Stop you. Blood poisoning will. You want me to take that bullet out? Your concern is very touching, General. You always doctor up a man after you shoot him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. Shifty mind of yours into fish bait. How about a drink? Not till we need one. Stay where you are. Lost a lot of blood. We should have gone to Boonesboro first and had that bullet taken out. And then rest it up a bit. You know, you're acting like this is just a stroll through the woods, Wilkerson. But I know different. If this plan of yours works, maybe you'll be rich. Maybe some Spanish history book will say you're a great man someday. But if it fails, 
both sides will end up hunting you. And you're going to be dead. Man, you'll have dirtied up your name. Those are high stakes for any gambler, man. You could have been anything you wanted. Maybe even president. Why? Why are you selling out both yourself and your country? I was in the army a long time then. You can't spend medals or prestige. Land. Land is what war is all about. I fought in many battles over a lot of that land. It was soaked with soldiers' blood. But who got it? The opportunists, the politicians, the grabbers. Those who watched men die and then took. Did the men who fought get any? No. The vultures who followed. They took the lion's share. The real victors. To them went the spoils. The land. The wealth. <laughs> See, Dad? It's quite simple. Just create a war. And then sit back like a vulture. How can you be so sure of the Spanish? How do you know you won't be the last vulture in line picking on a clean carcass? Maybe your plans are not as complete as you figured. Mm -hmm. You underestimate me, Dan. They need me. And the information I possess to maintain their position. I was a general, you know. You're the one who needs reminded. Right now, I'm taking you back to the governor of Virginia. Well, if you want that responsibility, you just go ahead and take it. Just another burden on your shoulders, Dan. <laughs> I won't try to escape, Dan. I won't. I made one mistake by letting you live. I intend to correct that mistake by seeing you dead. One reason you won't make it, Bull. You're too much of a gentleman. Letting your prisoner have the first drink. Look at that sun. It'll beat you like a whip. Wounded, no water. That sun, you'll dry up like a bone. A bullet. Saying that shoulder could even things up. With what difference? You'll still have the gun. You'll need it.
Get out. I know where we can get us some mortar board. They picked up our trail. Give it up, Daniel. Are you going to get up? for profit, not glory, General. If I pull this trigger, you're going to be dead. And so will Kentucky. I could take that bullet out. Otherwise, blood poisoning will kill you before I do. All right. Come take it out. Consciousness. There's too much pain. My finger might jerk. So you use your own judgment.
Get some water soon. You, you're not gonna last another day. The rest is spell. time we went hunting together up in Tennessee. That was a hot day. We found that creek. The water was cool like a spring rain. And we slept under the shade of that big elm tree. That tree must have been over a thousand years old. I wonder if it's still standing there. Hmm. Sleeping under that elm. Pretty big tree. Well, even the strong have to fall sometime. like that old elm. The only way to bring it down is with an axe. Why don't you quit, Dan? Go down. It's only a couple of feet to the ground. If I go that far, I might as well go six feet under. You're a fool. You're a fool. Once you told me to quit, I'm telling you to stay down. Well, 
Colonel. Glad you, you could make it. Have you got any water for me? Oh, yes. I have plenty of water. See what I mean about being in a superior position, Paul? Your position just now was rather uh, unfavorable, General. For a general, you seem incapable of disposing of one mere backwoodsman. I see why you retired from the army, General, to make room for the more competent. Well, Virginia will attack Kentucky. And that's the important thing, Colonel. Oh, yes. Thanks to your talent for deceit. Make your point. The point is, it is time for your complete retirement. Your services are no longer required. Wait. Seems those rifles are not just pointed at me, General. You will both receive food and water. And you will be shot at dawn. After you take Kentucky, Colonel. How do you plan on holding it? Without the aid of a traitor. Virginia militia will march on Boonesboro. Soon Kentucky and Virginia will be at war. I wish you could witness it. I have another engagement. Remember, Colonel? Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> the firing squad. See you at dawn, General. Mind if I smoke? For a man that's about to face a firing squad, you're mighty calm. Well, I took a gamble. I lost. I was a victim of greed and betrayal. <laughs> Speaking of carcasses picked clean, something else dragged its kill in here. Hmm. Just like Navarro. For a gambling man, you throw your hand in mighty easy. I'm gonna do a little gambling myself. Where are you going? I'm gonna gamble that you're as hungry to live as you were to line your pockets. We we'll have to survive to profit then. I have a feeling we're about to form an alliance. I'm a sort. You may not like the terms. Well, I don't like Navarro's. You're gonna help me stop your war. Why? Because it's your only chance to stay alive. Well, even if we escape, what's gonna keep me from leaving you and going my own way? Well, for one thing, there's Navarro. There's the militias of Virginia and Kentucky, not to mention me. For a man who wanted lots of land, you're going to be lucky to have enough to cast a shadow. Yeah. What have you got in mind? Against rifles. 
two rifles. It's better than facing 10 of them in the morning. Now, there are two sentries. I figure if one of us can jump out there and attract their attention, the other can get them with this. Mm -hmm. It's a rather primitive idea, but what happens to the fellow who leaps out there? It depends on the fellow who's in here. Mm-hmm. Good luck, Daniel. I sort of figured on you being out there. Now you just remember, Daniel. You've got more to lose to the Spanish than your life. There are two sentries out there. They're both armed. Now, if we're going to get out of here, you have to depend on me. is ready. Any news yet of General Wilkerson? No, sir. Tell him to prepare to march. Cubs at the mercy of eagles. Lancers? Militarily speaking, ours is a very awkward position.
Dan. Seems the only way the Colonel can feel like a general is if he kills one. You're no good to me, Dad. I don't intend to die. Those are strange words for a man in your position. I'm a general. <laughs> I'll accept your surrender now, Colonel. the gentleman. You'll never learn. I reckon not. I'm sorry, Dan. This is where I break our alliance. If I go to Richmond, I'll end up in front of a firing squad. You'd better get a good head start. If just one man dies on either side, I'm going to come looking for you. And I won't stop until I find you. Bye, Dan. What is this? Governor, have you ordered your militia to march yet? You've got to stop them. I already have. Hello, Daniel. He told me everything. I had no choice but to place him under military arrest. It's my court martial. Sir. That answer your question? He's saluting the general. The firing squad will deal with the traitor. Dan. <laughs> 